Hey everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today is a very special video. We'll learn how to add custom spells from other people's mods into yours, while also learning why a relationship with Manthara would never work biologically. We'll do this using a mod made by one of my long-term subscribers, Wave Rebel, using the Reaper class. Be sure to download it from the video description and try it out. For those who prefer staying to the point in the video, my commentary is at the end of each step, so you can skip through them without any issues at all. For step one, we need a class mod to hold our spell, which you can make using the toolkit. You can do this using my prior tutorial which will show up on the screen and is also linked in the video description. Like learning how human reproduction works, which takes two gametes, so a sperm and an egg, to fuse and exchange their complementary genetic material. For step two, we download our target mod, or in this case the Reaper class. Download it manually from Nexus Mods and extract the archive. Let me know in the video comments what mod you plan to reference or just the next tutorial that you'd like to see. For step 3, we need the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders Multi-Tool, which can unpackage mods that other people have made so you can go through the files. I'm still waiting on Larian's advice on directly importing pack files into the toolkit. This is where the video gets more involved, so if you prefer a text tutorial, refer to it in the pinned comment for free on my Patreon. Download the tool from GitHub, linked in the video description, extract the folder and launch it. You may get a warning. The file is safe, though feel free to scan it. So be careful, like ensuring that you understand the key step of Minthara reproduction. Biting your head off after securing your offspring, like a praying mantis. After capturing you by luring you with a high-end PC under a trip-wired cage, I jest of course. She wouldn't be able to secure your offspring. Humans can reproduce because of their genetic similarity. If we assume that drow are a different species rather than a different race, a drow egg and a human sperm would unlikely produce a viable embryo, since the chromosomes may be too different to interact, or the genes that are in the drow genome or the human genome may be unable to do their job without two copies that you would get from the other set of chromosomes. So, I'm so sorry, Minthar and Leza lovers. For step four, we're gonna unpackage the Reaper class mod to see its spells. Because what else am I gonna do with my life now? Drag the pack file onto the blue box in the modder's multi-tool, then go into the unpacked mods folder, accessing your unpackaged mod. For step five, we're gonna find the spells that we aim to bring over. Open the text file shown on the screen, and I'll just give you a minute to find that. If you wanna learn how to make your own custom spell, refer to the video on the screen and in the video description. Go through the file to find your desired spell and copy the name as highlighted. Sadly, there are no spells to fix drow human romances. While in vitro fertilization can address infertility, all it does is ensure that a sperm and an egg come together for partners who have factors beyond their control preventing this. Keeping and implanting the fertilized eggs that are most likely to survive helping people who love each other start a family. It alone cannot fix abnormalities. For step six, we're gonna add this spell to your mod. We'll cover it in more depth in my custom spells video. We can add the spell to your custom class using a spell list. So make a new spell list and add the name of the spell that you want from the other mod into it as shown. Then open your mod's progressions file and add the spell list to your class under the selectors field for level one as shown while subscribing for more awesome modding content. For step seven, we're gonna make a pack file of your mod so we can load it into the game. Go to project, project settings, and publish your mod locally. Then open a mod manager and install your mod along with your target mod. Then go to the load order tab if it's different and ensure that your mod is loaded after the one you're trying to pull spells from. Making a pack file is really valuable here because you can upload it to Nexus Mods and share it with the community. For step eight, we test. Launch Baldur's Gate 3, start a new game, and choose your class. As you can see, your mod builds on another person's. 
There are many talented creators out there. Some are making custom class mods with custom animations and other goodies, like Wave Rebels Reaper class mod. Fortunately, bringing elements from other people's mods into yours is relatively easy, helping us build on one another's work while ensuring that folks get credit and downloads so they can build on their individual brand. Be sure to vote on the poll for the next tutorial that I should make. Considering joining my Patreon to support me as a creator and get more voting power for those polls. Thanks for watching and Starship out. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my limbs. The lad will make the prisoner squeal soon enough, I swear. Silence now.